And a Montana nonprofit has filed a complaint which could temporarily stop the state government from enforcing a new medical marijuana law. And for some members of the group, they say this is more than a political issue. For them, it's a matter of life or death. ABC Fox Montana's Melinda Zosh has the story. Melody Brown of Great Falls is known to her family and friends as a fighter. I want to live. I'm not ready to die. I'm only 59 years old. Last November, doctors diagnosed Brown with stage four lung cancer. They gave her only six more months to live. It comes like this in a, a syringe. Brown believes there's one thing that's keeping her going. That I'm alive today because of cannabis oil. Every four hours, Brown swallows these Absolutely. cannabis oil pills. She says her medication calms her body and her mind. There's a lot of times I get upset. You know, it's upsetting to know that you might not be here tomorrow. Since her diagnosis last year, Brown says her life is turned upside down. She's given up her career as a lawyer, given up her home to move into this apartment with her son, and now a new state law could force her to give up her medication. I'm not kind of worried. I'm extremely worried. I don't know what I'm going to do. The source of her concern is Senate Bill 423, which became a law on August 31st. It limits the number of patients a medical marijuana caregiver can help. The law says that caregivers can provide medical cannabis for only two patients at a time, or three if the caregiver is also a patient. The Department of Health and Human Services says there are about 13,000 medical marijuana patients like Brown living in Montana. With the limited number of providers in the state, this law could leave these patients without access to their medical cannabis. I, I don't understand how the legislature none of whom are medical people, can make a decision that so adversely affects my life. Brown is a board member of the nonprofit called Montanans Ensuring Access to Natural Medicines. And on September 7th, the group filed a lawsuit against the state and their lawyer, Bruce Fredrickson, says their goal is to hopefully prevent the state from being able to enforce that three patient limit, at least as it relates to those patients named in Brown's medical cannabis supply is almost gone, and doctors have now given her another six months to a year to live. And she says she'll keep on fighting. Reporting in Great Falls, Melinda Zosh, ABC Fox, Montana News.